recent poll shows one in five young Americans think the Holocaust is a myth. Organizations in our area believe education is the antidote here and they're using new technology to do it. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan shows you how the Nancy and David Wolf Holocaust and Humanity Center at Union Terminal is turning to artificial intelligence. What happened to you during the Holocaust? Uh, during the Holocaust, I first lived for the first couple of months after the war started in my hometown in Łódź. This is Holocaust survivor Pimke Skuter. He spent time in six concentration camps. How old were you when the Holocaust started? When I was eight years old, the war started. The experience of that young boy is powered by artificial intelligence at the Holocaust Museum in Union Terminal. Pincus, what do you say to people who don't believe in the Holocaust at all? It is very difficult to persuade a person that denies the Holocaust to say anything, really. This is the future of Holocaust education. As survivors pass away, their work sharing their stories is living on. For 11 months I did interrogation, which I had learned at Camp Ritchie. Local stories like Al Miller of Hamilton. As a Jew, he escaped Nazi Germany in 1937. He returned with the U.S. military to interrogate suspected war criminals. And last year, at the age of 100, he sat for five full days of recording. How much of a game changer is that for Holocaust education? I think it's significant. Barbara Miller is his daughter-in-law. Al had a tremendous sense of giving back, and he really wanted to ensure that the lessons of the Holocaust would not repeat. Despite Al's death in August, his efforts will continue. Students, digital natives, um, actually feel more comfortable uh, interacting with this technology than they might talking to someone um, across from them. That's what the data show. Well, thank you for this interview. It, it really does feel like you're having a chance to talk to somebody, <laughs> like a real person. So, uh, so that I really enjoyed. Pincus, what do you make of this technology about you being a hologram? It feels a little strange when I watch myself but I feel that it's so important. Local survivors will be available early next year. Pincus is on display now. Pincus, what's your message to future generations? The message I leave with them is that the most important things that they should do is tolerate, be human towards each other. A message powered by artificial intelligence that's anything but artificial. Can you sing me a song? In Union Terminal, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.